So could you explain the project a little bit? Sure, you basically they're brush bots, uh, they're by Christian Cerrito, um, and the way they work is that they've got a toothbrush, two toothbrushes on the bottom and a pager motor, and a battery on the top, and they're just swirling through the paint. And how are they made? Uh, they're made uh, with, uh, very simply actually, just a disc of plastic on the top, a uh, battery holder on the top, and then there's a pager motor attached on the bottom uh, with a little bit of wire um, and uh, a little bit of glue. That's about it. Uh, and Chris is a student at the Interactive Telecommunications Program at NYU, and this was developed as part of a class on algorithmic art. And you're the professor of the class? Uh, I'm one of the professors, yeah. I'm, uh, I teach there. Okay. And you're Tom Igo? Oh, Tom Igo, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I teach at the, at the ITV program. And what else is going on in the program? Uh, well, we're a two-year grad program, and basically we're focused on taking people from various different uh, backgrounds, uh, some technologists, but mostly not. And we're focused on giving them the understanding of the technologies as they might apply to their own field. So, for example, Chris was a carpenter and an artist before he came, and he was interested in using various digital technologies in his work, and um, so he's been building pieces like this to learn how to do it. Um, Hickey, who's a current uh, researcher at ITP uh, and a recent graduate, um, has also been doing a number of projects, although we don't have any of hers with us. Um, we've also got uh, Momo. I'll show you a few of the projects. So, Momo's not charged up yet, but Momo was developed uh, by two students, one an industrial designer and... Um, is this background? I think she's a graphic designer. Uh, anyway, um, it's a navigational device. So when it's turned on, we haven't got it on right now because the batteries aren't in, he basically always points the direction you need to go. So when, it's, when you're going that direction, he tilts like that, and as you turn around, he continues to tilt and point in the direction you need to go. Like that. So, and how is it knowing? It's got a compass inside uh, and a GPS receiver. So it's picking up its position and it's got a pre-programmed uh, set of positions to point to. And as you move, it keeps track of your position and your orientation and changes its orientation to suit. <laughs> so. What else you got? All right, uh, what else we got? Uh, so Young Park uh, has uh, the lovely music doll. Can you explain the project? So while she's getting set up, uh, basically, you take the paper dolls and you make music with them by changing your outfits. Take away, so yeah. <laughs> this, uh, this is the interactive paper dolls. So when you dress up, dress these dolls, mm -hmm. you hear the sound of their outfit. So it's I think has its sound. So when you layer them, the sound is also layered. So each outfit has a data file associated with it. Yeah. And as you put an outfit on, it talks to the body and then the body talks to the program which causes it to change the music. Is that about right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and um, so can you can you dress her up? Or one of them, or all of them? Uh, maybe one of them. Okay. Music and station has a style, like a punk. Punk music has punk outfit, yes. right? And hip-hop. Oh, so what if you put um, a uh, hip-hop outfit on the punk rocker? Um, Does that work? It works, but... Not, Not will. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. And so, um, okay, so can you can you put something on one of them? I show hip hop. Sure. So there's no sound now. Okay. Um, I put this on. So the can you can I see the back of that? And so how does the outfit talk to the body? Okay. Behind the body, there's a 
Ah. Oh, so Learn. by the way that you place it, the, yeah. the location that yes. you place it. Okay. So okay. And so each one has a clip, and the clip connects up with the with the sensor on the back. And What you say? I'm gonna make some a match it style. Okay. There's a little band. It's not hip hop, right? Okay. <laughs> But that only had one connection, right? Yeah. It didn't have two connections? Oh, each one has one connection too. Only this one has connection. Oh, okay. This is for just holding. One is just to hold and the other is yeah. to, to send the data. Okay. Yeah. What did this cause you to learn? What did you have to learn to do this project? Um, did you already know the coding and um, like there certainly must have been parts of this that you weren't familiar with when you got in, but now you're familiar with. Because this circuit is uh, only I'm using only. So yeah. it's on and off, so it's not that difficult. Yeah. Uh, so, so you knew the basics of the electricity stuff, but this gave you a new way to apply those, that information? Um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is So Young Park, that's your name? Okay. And um, neat. And so where can we find out more information about your project? Okay. Other interesting projects. Very good. Well, thank you very much, Soyeon. Thank you.